So hi everyone, we are going to understand how AI agents are going to solve the problem of every individual by helping them in their productivity, supervising them for communication, helping them maintain a good lifestyle, insights about you know the work that you do and definitely help you publish something on social media. So probably these are nothing but you know a robust architecture of how AI agent work. And I will walk you through that how this agent is connected to 25 sub agents in, in the flow. That's, that's something that makes life easy for anyone. But before I come to the technical part of it, let me give you the experience in the telegram where I've been testing this for last seven, eight days. So I've tested it for various use cases, ranging from booking a meeting for myself, asking some relevant information so so i just try to say hey do you know me okay so it's talking to me about a lot of things i need some help on my diet plan for this week to lose Two kgs help me with that so 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 some of the uh, scenarios where i'm going to talk about every component how we have structured this thing from work to life to your analytics or to actions that you want to take like travel booking or or maybe doing something related to putting some information on the google docs or or so so this is a kind of a personal assistant which works with you on the fly so probably it says that okay yogesh here's a detailed plan meal plan day one what you should do because it has all the information about me so it is giving me a lot of insights that helps me stay active uh, can you put this on my google doc so that i can refer so what i'm trying to say that i'm actually using all of this information and i'm saying it to put it onto the google docs where i can actually go back and review whenever i want so this is kind of a small integration which helps me so to do whatever i want uh, on just a basic command and my assistant is going to help me out and okay so we have a weekly diet plan and it has been published on my google docs so if i show you guys it says weekly diet plan so definitely it's not very well structured but i can always tailor that thing to give it more structure coming back i say perfect can you check my availability at if i am free book with Shivani for a quick review on April marketing plan for Kignati. That's the brand that we are doing. So it's going to now check my schedule and check my Google Calendar. And if it finds that I'm available, then it's definitely going to book that up for me. If it doesn't find okay so it says that yes you are available and april marketing plan now let's see the event that it has created so if i go back and it shows me my calendar so while it loads perfect it says quick review of april and it has been scheduled with shivani so i can actually put this thing in a more structured manner so while we are understanding that how this entire piece is working and we now go back to like a voice based command so I use voice. So I'll just show you some of the previous stuff. Delete the meeting recently set with Rishabh for three. Plan my meeting with Saurabh so, for 7.30. So these are the kind of prompts that I've given. And it gives me, so adding meetings, deleting meetings, asking for, okay, so I asked something very Get interesting. last thing event so, with Rishabh. So if you see that, you know, these are the kind of experiences while Telegram is actually running on auto mode, but 
this is something which is the latest tweet so i again can go back and do these kind of things so we now go back to the layer or agentic layer where we say that okay what we are doing so to understand it better we go back to the aspect where we say that okay what are our agents so i have certain ready agents out of which this is my personal agent so this agent is something that you were seeing was this one and it has five supervisor nodes so when i say five supervisor nodes then we are talking about the productivity supervisor and then we are saying that we are going to have calendar event drive event documents sheets click up crm and all these things so this is something that helps me out in in creating the whole bunch of productivity suite i can add as many nodes in this this category and if i go back and i show you the communication supervisor so it has the emailing agent slack agent so i can actually put directly to my twitter slack wherever i want so so this way we have created five agents which have capability to actually take my commands and build whatever i want so if i want to understand what is there in an image we have a image processor we have a video audio all of these things we have a supervisor agent which actually talks about news seo financial insights google analytics so i don't need to talk to my marketing team now onwards i just go back and so if i say that tell me top pages on swaransoft.com in past 7 days so probably if we just take this kind of an input where i need to know the top pages i might need to actually take at least one two step of hierarchy to reach out to the right information because ultimately this is the kind of an outcome which is going to come and probably a lot of people just talk about okay what are the best keywords for swaransoft.com so so now i'm actually saying that okay i know that i have a shopify development or i have my contact page or my careers page doing pretty well people are coming and applying in but i want to know which are the keywords so so probably it has also told me that there is a broken link or a missing link which we should consider and it says that okay it seems a temporary issue so while we know that okay this kind of a thing it has not given me a seo keyword but we can go back and see that okay what is my seo agent supposed to do so we 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 always go back and see that okay so after these supervisor agents what we are saying sorry i came back on to the last one so after we see that all these supervisor agent so we have the last one i just walk you through the lifestyle agent so in this we have notion task and travel agent so i can plan my travel very easily using my this voice command or something and now i come to the aspect where i show you the respective personal agents that we have created so every agent that you see so if i go back to the seo agent where i didn't got the response it connects me to youtube trends google trends keyword search volume all these thing and content analysis so while we see that okay the latest execution which was done it actually threw me an error so i can actually see what was the problem so it says clearly that my open ai model has actually failed in some aspect so it could be a reason that you know my account has some problem or or something related to that so i i again go back and i say that okay can i go back and just try this again and i say that okay what are the top keywords because i know the node had the problem so this is where the whole machinery and everything is working because we have the apis that are integrated we have lot of heavy lifting which these things are doing so it says that it's temporary issue let's come back what is the reason why this is again giving that particular thing we can always debug this thing so it says that okay there is there is something related to the api key for sure this is this is the bottleneck that we are uh, finding here and uh, if we just uh, check this particular thing okay so so probably we figured out what is the problem so while we are building these agents it's very crucial to know 
that how these entire thing works. So it says that the too, too many service requests coming in, which is probably the one of the biggest part where we are always say tokenomics. It says that the open AI limit has reached because the kind of plan that we are running this agent is something which basically we've been testing for the last eight, nine, 10 days and absolutely largely for no cost kind of a model. But the moment we get this into the production, we have to take care of the whole production ready kind of an environment. So this, Error is something which is amazing because it gives us a full perspective about how these agents work, what kind of errors can come and how we actually troubleshoot or fix it. So it's not a rocket science because we go back and say that, okay, we have done some changes. So we said, okay, fine. This is perfectly fine. We have a folder structure to, to know all the agents that are running in, in a, in a bucket. So let's say if I want to use some more examples to make it more productive and something. So I come back here and I say that, okay, I have, so I've checked out the tweets. So check latest three tweets from, from Elon Musk, everybody's favorite. So, so we, we check out, he owns the Twitter so he can write whatever he wants to write, but let's see how it works and every api okay so we've got he has retweeted something he's retweeted so all all he's done is retweet so it's basically telling me what musk is doing so these are the kind of thing can you tell latest news on ai agents so so a lot of things like we we can talk to this particular thing and while it is pumping out the information, so the time and the latency is not much because it's on the fly. You can try uh, talking to this with the voice based command or, or these kind of things. So we can put this particular entire piece of information in a bucketized format. And we have WordPress agents, so you can publish the blog. So I can show you some of the blogs that we've been writing with, with the very, very basic command. So these are couple of blogs that have been written directly by the voice command and I can walk you through and this is all posted directly to the WordPress. So if you see there is there is a lot that everybody can expect out of it. And while we are talking, we have the latest news coming from adoption of productivity. Read more on quads, MSN, OpenAI has something something to do. So probably large in model we have everything now in more structured manner so if you're looking to create such agents and we have done a lot of work in this category by you know we have some enterprise or some some agents which can actually do faceless real creators appointment booking uh, ai psychiatrist so use cases are many this is just a back-end factory yard that i'm showing you and every agent every aspect is is combination of you know a lot of agents sub agents that it works so if you're looking at more information and insights you know do stay tuned in and we're bringing more power with ai agents to you